what's up guys we back with another video if you haven't subscribed subscribe now like comment share hit the bell guys you're posting so you can be notified now without further ado today our video is going to be about our beautiful pets you know if you guys got pets we got pets too i feel like pets are like the first children in a relationship unless you get pregnant but um that's your first actual child you know and if you guys want to know what kind of pets we have we've showed you guys before but today is specifically about our babies okay it's a fly this is rachel our guinea pig and this is lucky, lucky our cat our kitten and oh, yes. you know we want to tell you guys about our pets because we we didn't just get them from like the the pet store. We actually they actually have their own stories, and she's hungry. Look at look. look. <laughs> and they both have their own exotic story. Of Unique their own. stories. Okay, well we could um tell you guys first about Lucky. No, no, we're gonna talk about Rachel first because she's she was here first. And before in our other video, we had other guinea pigs in our video. But unfortunately, and very sad, I don't want to talk about it, but they are passed on now. Made me cry. I'm very sad. And she's the only one here now. She's a trooper and she's greedy. You see her? She's very greedy. But, um, okay, so you want to tell them how we got Rachel? All right. Um, how we got Rachel. And it was a very funny way because it was at the time where she was graduating from high school and you know I was giving her gifts and, and like things that she deserves and earns you know but she graduated from high school not a lot of people do that so you know I was like you know it's really good a big accomplish so I got her a lot of gifts and I was like hold on in my head I was like she likes guinea pigs so I went on the hunt to get a pair of two because she told me they can't want to be alone so i was looking to hunt for two of them then i realized we wasn't living together at the moment but her household i didn't know if she if she was allowed to have a guinea pig or not so i didn't want to tell her that i was doing it i from the jump so i was like all right let me told let me tell you so i know that it won't be no problems in your household so I told her, and then she was like, get it, get it, no, I, I don't care, like, nah, nah, nah. Like, she's obsessed with guinea pigs. I was breaking all the rules, I did not care. I was like, listen, nobody told me nothing, so, that's it. So I was like, all right. So I contacted the person that I was I was, I was, was in tune with, and he was like, they, they still, they still here if you want them and stuff, and I was like, cool. I, I hit his phone. I texted him because you know I thought he was like ignoring me at the time, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just call you. And then he he didn't he didn't ignore me. He was just busy, so I was like, all right, she really wanted these guinea pigs, so I was like, it's a must that I must like I had to get them for her. So you know I got them. So you no, know, I got them, and my like I, it was mine. No one else is getting them, but I needed help getting them because at the time they had a home because of the. It was like, what was it? Pet, pet, petco? It was pet, Petco. I think it was Petco. Yeah, yeah I but think. Someone dropped the, the guinea pigs off at Petco, like they, they had them, and they no longer could take care of them. So the guy had them in the adoption center, and he had them home because there was no more room in the adoption center, and he didn't want to just like push the animals away because he actually cared. So it was like, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll walk. <laughs> I don't care. I'll go get them. Like, but um, we, we went to go get them because he left. Far he, from me. He 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 lived. I could walk to his house where I was where I, where I used to live at, but you know, it was like it's a hot day. I'm I'm not gonna walk 15 blocks with straight sun. So I was like, you know what? Just come by me, and I'm gonna just order an Uber, and we just go to his house from there. So at the time, he was like, "Yo, man, I got you right now. I I, I could give you I could give you a free cage, free hay, free Food. free yeah, free like just." Everything, just, just like everything he had, everything that that to start off, 
with new pets, knowing that I had no experience with guinea pigs. I didn't even know what guinea pigs were at the time. I thought they were hamsters, but not it's different kinds, you know, it's, it's the guinea pig. She knew, she was like, I just, you know, I got everything, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, all right. We went there, he, he gave me, he's like, yo, good looks, da 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 da, because they ain't had a home, and I was like, nah, nah, now they have a, a good home for, you know, from a good owner and stuff, too. And we took my little brother with us, yeah. and he helped a lot, yeah. so. So we, was, so, so we got the, we got them, um, got the cage and everything, got a house for them. And then we took an Uber right back to her house, and her household was the first. There was iffy on it, but they was like, "Oh, she got one. Oh, snap!" Da, da. Everyone was obsessed with these guinea pigs. I was like, "Damn!" Except for my other little brother, who was terrified. Like um, Justin, I know you're watching this, and you know exactly what we're talking about when Calvin was crying in the bathroom because he didn't want to be next to the guinea pigs. <laughs> so I'm just like, "Oh, okay. So now they they have their own home and stuff like that. They were good and stuff." But it's the interesting part right here. The guy told us they were boys. Yes, he did. So I was like, okay, cool. They're boys. So, you know, we, we had them for a very long time. We, then we had to start making plans to, like, move and stuff like that. So when we finally moved up here, it was a couple months in, like, probably the fourth month or third month we, we moved up here. We was like, oh, let, let, let's check them, you know, for, like, their health and stuff like that. And then we realized... We didn't even know that they weren't boys. They were girls. Girls. Full girls. Big fat girls. So I was like, well, he said a, a boy. But I don't, I don't, I have no intentions of like caring about it. Because, you know, it doesn't matter what, what um, gender it is. Or, or not the, oh, I'm sorry, Lucky. What gender it is, she's happy with it and I'm happy with them. So it doesn't really matter. And, so, and she's, she's, she's a a lazy, hard-headed That's to cut her nails, but if you guys don't have a guinea pig and if you're interested in getting a guinea pig and if Deanna's watching this, my guinea pig is not a rat so stop telling people that my guinea pig is a rat Anyways, when you do have a guinea pig you have to have two or more of them because guinea pigs are herd animals and they have to be in social packs We are going to get another guinea pig but my heart can't take that right now and we are in the process of trying to move and save money up and stuff like that to move So, when we do move I will get another guinea pig and maybe another one after that. But if you guys would like to know what they eat, um, you can feed them hay, which is 90, like 80% of their diet, pellets, which are their source of vitamin C, and they're supposed to get a couple of vegetables a day, like romaine lettuce, like leafy stuff. You can give, like for treats and stuff like that, it's better to give them fresh fruit, but not a lot. Or what are you eating? Is that chicken? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, getting pregnant with vegetarians and the food too. Oh my god. Yeah. But she's greedy and she likes look look at look at her guys. Look at her. She's just looking for more food. Watch, watch this. You see this? Watch how look. That that's what they do. Honestly, guinea pigs are a quiet animal, they're the farthest thing from quiet, I'm sorry. Right then. But they they squeak a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's because they're happy animals, but they're not high, high maintenance, you know. You just have to make sure you have the proper space for them in their cage. You have to have a big cage and um, hideys and stuff like that. And make sure your room is like warm in the cold time and stuff like that. And overall, as long as you feed them, they'll leave you alone. But if you move, if the slightest piece of paper rattles in your room, they will squeak. 3 o'clock in the morning and wake you up. Oh, tell them their, their little dance. Oh, they do this thing called popcorning where it looks like they're, they're twitching and like having a seizure and I was so terrified I thought there's something wrong, but it was a good thing. But they're pretty much happy animals and they squeak when they, they, they see you and they're happy to see you. And um, yeah, Lucky gets along with them, but he's not, um, you know how cats smack each other? Yeah, he has to learn that he can't smack them. But she's good on her own right now. Not for long though. Look, 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 guys. See her? But guinea pigs are really nice animals and they're like quiet. They're like, if you don't want a hamster because hamsters are escape artists, she doesn't try to escape the cage. She's very lazy. She sleeps and eats. Sleeps and eats. She doesn't even run. She doesn't run at all. But when they do run, it's like a little stampede. But that's how we got Rachel, you know? I've never had somebody adopt a guinea pig for me. Like, I've never had somebody do anything like that. Like, I never really had a boyfriend before him so it was like that 
and you'll be surprised. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you some of the gifts that I got for her graduation. This was one. Yeah, that's Wendy Sanders. Another one. And he's was, not a scammer either, so. And and it was a a Michael Kors watch. With a matching bag. With a matching Michael Kors bag, a guest another bag a guest bag. Um, you know, people was over here telling me all the gifts I got. What, what else? Um, what else did I get you? I did get you a card. Um, oh, you got me a Gucci case. A Gucci phone case. Um, uh, and, and, and other things. And you took and, me out. Yeah. And the thing is, she did. She cared for the gifts, but the most thing, the most, the, the most important gift to her was the two guinea pigs. If you know me, I was a girl who went to school, did my work, and I went home straight after school to go to my guinea pigs. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> so, that's all with Rachel. Now with, what are you looking at? Lucky. Let's tell you the funny story about Lucky. Lucky is a nightmare. He's he's so bad. But, um, one day, okay, we went to the movies to see Phoenix, and, uh, you know, it was raining and stuff like that. We were walking home, and it was like, look, what 12 o'clock 12 it was like 11 30 by the 12 o'clock so we're halfway home so that's like uh some miles that we walked home so from the movie theater and um he saw a deer and he's like a child who gets distracted very easily so he saw the deer and he's over here oh i'm chasing the deer i'm chasing the deer so he's chasing the deer because he wants to to be friends with it or something and i'm like i hear something and he's like now there's the weird part we thought it was a tape recorder because it kept doing the same exact Let sound. Let me tell you the what same, I thought. Like three seconds it kept doing it. We was like, what the heck is that? It was like a crying sound. So in my mind, I watch a lot of um, movies and Law and Order. So I thought somebody probably recorded a child crying because, you know, in the movies, people be stupid. They're like, oh, what's that noise? We was feeling a little dumb too because I'm like, I thought there was a recording for people to try to lure people over there to kidnap them. I watch a lot of scary, not scary stuff, but I watch some crazy things, and that's why I'm so paranoid. So, me still thinking that I still went to investigate, but I sent him first, because I'm not dumb. I'm black. Yeah. Nobody's just, touching me. Anyway, so we go over there, and he's looking. He's like, there's nothing there. I'm like, I hear something. I hear something. So, I'm looking. He's like, wait, no, no, no. There's something there. It's a kitten. So, I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Actually, I'm going to try to insert, a, like, a clip here of what... He um what he looked like when we got him because we have that clip where we got him. for like the videos and photos of both yeah, of them not yeah, just him. We're gonna try to insert the clip where we got him, like because we he was stuck under there. You see this bracelet? I believe elephants are good luck, and that night this elephant was very good luck because he, he was stuck underneath like a clothing bin. So I'm shaking the bracelet underneath there to try to wiggle him out because I don't want him to be like focused on it because like he's wedged up underneath there, like. It was, it was really crazy. And then, like, we got him out, and he was coming out. I tell you, he was about this big. That cat, the doctor said himself, that cat had to be about four or five weeks old. He was a baby, and it was raining, cold, thundering. It was everything you see in the movie. And I'm here, like, um, you know, I'm like, okay. Um, and at the time, I wasn't even staying. Like, we didn't have our own place. So I'm like, um, um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I had just bought a sweater from Target. I grabbed this. I said, get him, get him, get him. Got him, got him in the thing. I was like, um, I'm taking him at home. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. We didn't even have our own place. I didn't even ask the person we were staying with. I was staying with my brother. We didn't even care to ask him because it was like, um, once I have my heart set on something, you're not telling me anything. I'm not asking nobody. So we just walked about two miles back home and we turned right back around to go right back to Walmart to get cat food, cat litter, like everything that you could think of. And he had like, he had like scars on his face and all these eye boogers. And he was so skinny, you could feel his ribs and stuff like that. And I was just like, okay, okay. There you go. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God. So we had this closet, so we put him in the closet. And then um, we was like, okay, he has to stay in the closet. Cause you know, you can't put, we have other, my mom has cats, but they want to leave him around the other cats. But um, he was like this big. I'm gonna try to insert the clip to show you guys how small he was. And he was so cute and like scruffy and um, we, what you call it? We, we was like, okay, we gotta take him to the vet, but we didn't have money, so it was like, okay, we had to wait for payday to take him to the vet. So I called the vet, you know, we go to the vet and stuff like that. First of all, he was so terrified. Like he, like, and like most cats are not like, um, she just peed on me. 
And I know you're not serious right now. You just peed on me. Why would you do that? I didn't do nothing wrong to you. And it's all on me. Ugh. I'm about to hire. But, um, that's nasty. That's not a thing. Guinea pigs pee on you a lot. But we went to the vet and stuff like that. And turns out he was sick. He had a, a viral infection. He had a whole bunch of ear mites. And by the time we left the vet, it cost us $500. 500 Pets are not cheap. But they gave him drops. We had to give him medicine. And he had syringe feed them. It was so cute. And he didn't want to like, stay on the table and things like that. But it was just like, it was like, he, he was meant to be with us. At first we thought he was a, a girl. But then um, we found out he was a boy. And that's why he named him Lucky. Mind you, we, we was, if it was a girl, we was naming him Phoenix. Because we just came from seeing the movie Phoenix. So we were like, oh, this is the sign. And ever since then, like, when we had him in the little closet, like, he really was so excited to see us. And, like, he wanted to snuggle. And to this day, this cat loves to sleep in the bed with us. Like, he's a child. He likes to be picked up. He likes to leave when we leave. He wants to go where we go. There's he's, not a second. Why do you he's think he's so us. calm right now? Because like, that's like what he, he he's on my lap, but he wants to get on hers. Spends way too much time with her. But now he's all healthy, and you know he's growing, and he's so bad, and he's adventurous, but he's so cute. He's like a child. He's really like a child. First child, second child. Well, second form of kids. Anyways, but you know we just want to tell you guys a story about how we got that. Because first of all, um, this is like a long term commitment because he's a baby. You know how cats, long cats live long like 20 years long so this is a our first child like that's long living long, long and he got boogers in his eyes again but he's just like he's full of excitement every day it's something new with him he's 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 always doing something something but you know we just want to share that with you guys you know that was like a big step in our relationship too like getting a pet together like and i have an issue where i always try to bring home stray animals so He's probably going to deal with that in the future, but that's me. I'm going to become a vet. It's going to happen. Just watch, guys. We're going to get successful on YouTube and be a vet. That's just going to happen. But, you know, we're going to wrap this video up, guys. That's the story of our, well, the passing of one of our guinea pigs. This one's a soldier right here. She lived through anything. It's okay, but I'm still going to take her to the vet just to make sure she's still good. But, you know... We could um, probably do another video for you guys. We could do like uh, like a pet tour. Not tour, but like tour of the cage and like the supplies we get and how we maintain that. Because pets are expensive, but we make it happen the cheap way. Because uh, shop on Chewy, we get bulk. Well, that's the story of our little children. I won't like to say pets. You feel me? These are our like, kids. Yeah, they, they, they act like kids. So these are the, the stories of our kids. Yep. What a sunset, eh? Yeah, it is. Look at my skin. Yeah, but further on, a couple more months down, we're going to take another video of them again to see the growth of them, you know? If you guys saw how small he was and how sick he was, he's, look at him now, beautiful, healthy, and... Adventurous. Yes, very adventurous. But if you guys have us on Instagram, you will see that we post our pets a lot and he's always doing something. And she's just always eating. Like eating, 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 eating. But we're going to wrap this video up, guys. So, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't liked, like. If you haven't suggested, and throw a comment in the comments below. Drop it down. Because we love your ideas. Remember, we're going to drop our Instagrams and Snapchats. You know, follow us. Throw us a DM if you want. And anything you want to do, you know, we'll contact us, we'll contact us, it's whatever. Just, you know, we family. Yep. So, we'll see you in the next video.